Hey guys, it's Pizzeria 22 here. Um, we'll get into it here in, in a minute. Um, I'm going to show this out to uh, Facebook and to Twitter and a few other places. If you're new here, uh, go, go ahead hit the subscribe button hit, or hit and uh, hit the so you guys uh, are, are liking these videos or not, which honestly that kind of leads a little bit into uh, what this vlog is going to be about in case you can tell from the title as far as uh, an angry rant. Um, and um, for you that. Uh, I am going to, like I said, share this out. And then we'll get started. So. All right, we'll get started here in a minute, guys. I've just I've got to do the normal share outs, and uh, and then we'll get started. Uh, I've got to be honest. I'm not entirely positive that I'm. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to end up biting my foot off and chewing pretty bloody vigorously, but we'll see. Um, but I want to be. I want to be real with you guys, and I want to be realistic as far as some things go. And I honestly haven't done. Uh, I haven't done a vlog like this one in a while. So there's a possibility it might end up being relatively long. It also might be relatively short. Although before I do that, I'm going to go get some water. So I'll be right back. Give people a little bit of time to, uh, to jump in. All right, got my water, so we should be um, should be good to go. So, all right, let's um, let's get into this. I uh, I got a message on one of one of my videos, and I was a little stupid. I deleted the video before I actually looked at it. It was like a minute and some odd um, video. I deleted it mainly because I minute some odd videos, especially if I know that they're um, they're glitchy or or something's going on. I was playing golf with friends. Anyways, uh, a person left a message, and I think they left it on the on on the video that I deleted so no I did not delete the video because of the message I deleted it because I guess I was being stupid I, I you know we, we can attribute it to stupidity well we'll just go with that um but anyways he was talking about or well, I don't know if it's a key the person I guess would be the better way of putting it um said that if I advertised, my channel would be, um, would, would grow. And where they're not entirely wrong, there are some things that if you, I, I don't know how long this particular person's been doing YouTube. I don't know how long their channel's been up. I don't know any of that. Um, 
But the only thing that I do know is they've got about 10 more subscribers than I do. So if they're advertising and that's why they have 10 more subscribers than I do, then fantastic, great. Um, but if it's you've got 10 more subscribers because you've got more friends or more people who've actually subscribed to you than that, then that's also great. But um, I advertise this, th this channel actually quite frequently. Um, I have a Facebook page that I share this out to. I have a Google Plus account that I share this out to. I have a Twitch account or a Twitter account that I share this out to. I have a Twitch page that I upload whatever videos that I've streamed to this, I upload them to Twitch. Um, I frequently will share my videos out to a couple of different pages to, um, to help people to get, bring awareness to this. Short of spending money, I have done pretty close to the majority of the amount of advertising that I can do. Um, and I get where the person's coming from. I, I, I don't want this to sound like I'm bashing on this person because I'm mad at, I, I'm mad at them. What I'm, I'm honestly more frustrated at kind of the hey, you know, you'd get more of this if you did X. Uh, okay. And, and, and to that, I really have to be, honestly, I've got, I've got to be blunt about it. And I've got to, and I've got to be like, how do you know? Thousand plus subscribers and, and things like that. And you're going, hey, dude, you need to advertise more. I would listen to you with, with a little bit more thing because you're, a, you're obviously doing something right. Um, I've had the channel up, I'd have to look, I think at this point I've had the channel up for about eight months, I think, maybe a year, and I'm probably overestimating, I would really have to look. Um, if you're going to tell somebody, hey, you would get more bang out of your buck if you advertised, that's like saying you would get water if you went down to a river. Okay, thank you. Let's be realistic. I would get more. I, I would. You're right. I would get water if I went down to a river. But if I don't have an appropriate container to store the water in, then it doesn't do me any good to go to the river to get the water. So, where I appreciate the advice actually giving me something practical to work with would, would 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 be better hey have you thought about advertising on these different platforms have you thought about doing I, I mean actually give me something to work with opposed to hey you'd get more if you'd advertised because you're not telling me anything I don't already know and you're not telling me something that I haven't already done I've advertised on actually you, you know what here's here's what I do. If you've never actually taken a look at the description of my videos, then maybe, and I'm putting uh, and I can do so, so many times, so. All right, I think I do so. One eighty out of two hundred. Okay. My Patreon stuff, I really need to actually get on top of it. I have not done a lot with my Patreon. And I really, really need to actually get back on top of it. Um, all right. 
And the rest of this is other stuff that I really actually need to go through and actually kind of validate and whatnot. But that, what's what I put in the chat is pretty much what's in the description of every video. And if you go to my homepage and look in the top right corner of the banner, it also shows, it's it's got links to my Facebook, to, I think it's got to my Patreon too. Um, it's got links. It is not a matter of not advertising because I advertise my channel as long as, 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 as frequently as I can. Um, there was a time where I had not been sharing my, my channel on Facebook, uh, and that was mainly because I was moving, and I was not quite really in a place where I could be diligent about advertising and about things. So it's one of those things where I've just now finally gotten slower being a dick. I don't need that up anymore. It's not. It, it's, um, I've just. I finally got back into a place where I can start sharing out on a more regular basis. Every time I do a video, I always say at the beginning, "Hey guys, give me a minute so that I can share this out to Facebook and Twit and Twitter." And in this particular case, because I'm using, I'm on, I'm, I'm using the streaming tool through through the live thing on on YouTube it gives me the chance to stream to Facebook to Twit uh, I keep saying Twitch Twitter Google plus uh, blogger uh, and a couple others I mean there's actually a LinkedIn that I should probably share out to LinkedIn um, but my point is, is I do absolutely advertise my channel. I advertise it pretty close to any chance that I get. The only thing that I don't do that I really should be doing is like I did at the beginning of this video, ask for people to hit the subscribe button. It's about the only thing I don't do. And I've watched other channels and I gotta be honest, they're far larger than mine, like stupidly infinitely larger than mine. And at the beginning of them, good portion of them, don't ask at the beginning of the films, at the beginning of their videos. Hell, some of them don't even ask at all. Um, but there are channels that are infinitely larger than mine. I mean, and 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 to give you to give you a reference as far as some of the people that I'm talking about, I won't actually give any names because, um, mainly because I don't want them to come after me and whatnot. But anyways, my point is. These are channels that have 180 million subscribers. They're infinitely, infinitely larger than me. And in a good portion of them, they, they don't ask. They really don't. And maybe it's because they're finally at a point where they don't have to. Maybe 180 million anymore. But I've also seen other ones where they just don't ask, period. And like I said, they're infinitely larger channels than I than, than mine. So I get where the person's coming from. I understand it, and I don't disagree with them. But there does come a point where it is a matter of what I can do versus what I can't do. Um, what I can do is what I'm doing right now, whining and bitching about it. Um, and let's be honest, I'm on a soapbox and I'm about it. So I mean, let's just let's be realistic. Um. But I'm also venting a little bit because if you're going to give somebody advice, and this is true for anything. So, I mean, if you're watching this and you've got that one friend who's like, well, you know, if you did this, you'd get this. And then you're going, great, dude. Thank you for being Captain Obvious. I appreciate you telling me to go to the river to get water. I appreciate that. Do you see that I have any water bottles on me? Do you see that I have any money to get the said water bottles? Do you see that I have the ability to do what you're telling me to do? No. So what you're telling me to do is something that I don't have the ability of doing. How does that make sense? If you're going to give somebody advice, and, I've, and, I, and I'm guilty of this, so this is not just an aim at, at this particular person. This is kind of a vent towards myself and other people. So I'm not innocent, not even remotely innocent. So please don't think I'm coming from an innocent standpoint. I'm not, because I've done this. I have been Captain Obvious, and because of my MS and because of my brain damage, I continue to be Captain Obvious because my short-term memory conversion is absolutely fucking shot. Um, 
that's that's a whole different ball of wax and a whole different story by itself. Um, but if you're going to give somebody advice, give them something practical. Give them something they can actually use. Hey, I've got the water bottles. How about we go down to the river? We'll gather the water together. Or, hey, I know you're short on money right now. I'll spot you the 20 and you can get what you need. Be practical about it. Don't be a dick about it. And, and yeah, so anyways, that's, that's kind of my soapbox as far as, as far as that goes. Um, so let's get into kind of the rest of the part of the day. I spent most of the day with the wife. Actually, I spent pretty much all of the day with the wife. It made me actually very, very happy. Um, I did a little bit of a short vlog earlier, so you guys should go and check that video out. And, um, and yeah, it was really awesome. She had an audition that she kicked ass at. Uh, like any audition, they gave her some advice. Uh, they gave her some things that she can work on, and then she had a concert tonight, which was really, really awesome because it was a charity event for a really awesome cause. Um, and so it was, it was an absolute blast as far as the day goes. It was fantastic. We also got to spend some time with some friends that we haven't uh, seen in quite some time, so it was really, really nice to see them. They, uh, they actually blessed us with transportation. Um, all we had to do was get to the mall. So we got to the mall and then everything else was set from there. So that was, um, that was really cool. It was really cool to spend some time, spend some time with the wife and see her do her thing. Cause it's, it's always awesome to see, to see Tommy perform. Um, you guys should check out her, her YouTube, uh, just look for T O M I space, the letter K and you'll see a woman holding, I think it's a woman holding a microphone right now. I think is what it is. Let me see if I can actually pull the... Uh, and actually, I'll actually see it. And if I remember it, it's actually a card. Or if you go to my page on the right hand side, I know she's listed there. So... Um, What I want is for my computer to actually behave, because right now it's not. Um, come on. My computer's acting really, really sluggish right now. I'm actually not happy about that, so I've got to go through and do some maintenance. Um... Let's see here. Yeah, there it is. Come on, computer, I behave. There we go. So I uh, I want to welcome the uh, the new viewer. You uh, caught this a little bit late, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Get rid of a few pop-ups. So um. So tomorrow Sunday, uh, Sunday I typically don't, I haven't done gameplay in the past. I have started to actually change my mind on that. Um, Sundays, um, somebody's asking me a question, so I want to give it a bit of an answer here real quick. Uh, 
Um, Sundays I have typically not done any gameplay. I've usually used Sunday as a day of rest. That is what I have typically used um, Sundays for. I am thinking of changing that. I'm thinking of changing it mainly because the wife and I usually all play uh, golf with friends, and so I usually stream that. Um, I might also start playing some other games that I, I either A, don't typically play, or B, want to play more frequently, and playing the amount of times that I do play during the week and streaming that just doesn't feel like enough. Especially when it's a really long game, something like the second KOTOR game, where it's just a really, really long game, and... I want to try and get through the game faster than six months um, because I'm only playing it for an hour to two hours a day, two days a week. Um, I'd like to get through the game a bit faster than that. So, um, I don't blame you for using Sunday as, a, as, as an eaten day. I don't blame you at all. Um... So, uh, anyways, but I'm, ha I'm still having, um, I've honestly installed the game on multiple occasions, and it, it gave me an error saying that the file directory that it's trying to load for is wrong, and please change it, and I've changed it, and that hasn't worked, and I've escalated it as far as I can go, as far as uh, EA tech support, to the point where I need to talk to a specialist who's been supposed to call me and has not called me yet. Um, so I may end up actually calling EA tomorrow and trying to deal with that so that I can try and, um, get EA to work. Cause I want to get back into playing Dragon Age for you guys, but I can't do that because it's an EA game. So at this point, I either need to go and buy a physical copy of the game, um, which... I uh, I really don't want to do, just to be honest. Um, it's a great game, and it's worth the investment. I just don't have the money for it right now. So, um, but yeah, Sundays, Sundays has typically been a day of rest for me, but I'm thinking I'm going to start doing some gameplay and things like that. I mean, when, when for the most part, this is what you do because you're on disability and... Um, you can't work because you have two very severe health conditions that pretty much makes it so that you can't work. This is what I do. Um, I wish there are things that I there are things that I wish. I wish that I had a stronger financial base to actually uh, pay for for the advertising that I would really like to do because I got to be honest I want to do more advertising wise I don't have the funds and that's my largest issue the largest issue is funds it is not a lack of want it is simply a matter of 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 getting the financial means to be able to do the advertising um I've talked with the wife it'll have to wait till the end of the month so I'll see if I can if if I if we can pull it off I don't know if we can or not I would like to order some business cards is what I would like to do. I'd like to order some business cards. But that's... Um, So that way, when I'm out and about, I can hand people my business card that has my YouTube and my Twitch and and has has the different places. Um, like I said, I've got a Patreon, and I need to put more time and effort and energy because that's the, that's the solution. That's something that I I learned when I was doing martial arts. It's also something that I've learned whenever you're trying to learn something new is time, effort, and energy, along with smart goals. Um, you've got to put the two of those together, otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. Um, I have actually a video on smart goals, so if you guys are curious about smart goals, go check out the playlist and um, 
and, and, and check that out. And, um, and then time, effort, and energy. That is the, literally, that is the key to anything. If you want to be able to achieve anything in life, you have to put the time, the effort, and the energy into it. If there's something in your life that is not going the way that you want it to go, it's because you're lacking in one of those arenas. You're either lacking in time, you're either lacking in, in, in the energy or the effort that you're putting into it, and, and things like that. So... Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and 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 when it comes to that type of stuff, I'll I'll, I'll kind of glance over it a little bit. So so time is again the number of hours that you have in a day. So it's a matter of how much time you put into a particular project. The effort is you putting in skills or doing the research or talking to other people or downloading the software that you need to do to do the job that, that you need to do, things like that. Um, so, so that's effort. You have to put the physical energy into that task. So you've got time, you've got effort, and then basically energy is basically your energy. What are you bringing to that equation? I've trained in martial arts a good portion of my life. So what I can tell you is that if I go through a form sloppily, I might be putting the time into it. I'm putting barely any effort in it, but I'm not putting any energy into it. But if I power through the form and I make it look awesome and I make sure that I put the key eyes in the place that it's supposed to be, now I'm actually doing what I need to do. Another good example is things like what I'm doing now. Um, I typically don't vlog. Uh, well, that's not true. I try and vlog every night. I try to. I've got to be really honest. I fail miserably because there are times where I go two, three days without actually vlogging and... I feel really bad about not doing it because I'm not putting the time and effort into it because if I don't do the vlogs, one, I'm not getting whatever crap is in my system out that I need to get out because believe it or not, this is therapy for me and this is therapy for anybody actually is just talking and sometimes turning on a camera and blabbing to people who don't know you at all is actually very beneficial because sometimes they can give you a perspective that you may so just something to to think about in that particular area I appreciate that um so that's, that's kind of what, what I've got to say as far as time, effort, and energy. Now, here's also something that I, I, I need to kind of put out there. And this is mainly in, in regards to, to one of the comments that's in there. And I very much appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, not everybody's going to agree with me. They, they, they're just plain, plain and simple. If you're the type of person who wants to get into public speaking, and actually one of the things that, that's actually been kind of a dream of mine is to become a public speaker um, but I never put the time effort and energy into it but now I'm putting time effort and energy into it in the vlog so that's more or less what this is um, and same with the gameplay the gameplay is performing for for a public audience as opposed to my wife where she's a singer and an actor where her stage is 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 a stage this is my stage so it's a different thing so one of the things that's important is that you need to understand not everybody is going to agree everything that you do. They might agree in portion. They may not agree at all. They might agree 100%. But not everybody's going to do it. Um, years ago, I heard a sermon. And um, and he basically, and, and, and he broke it down. The, 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 basically, it was, it's basically the 25% rule. It's more or less the way that I understand it. If you guys have heard of this and know it under under a different name, cool. But here's basically the way the equation works. 
And I also feel because I've worked, I worked in retail. I've, I was in the workforce from 2001 until 2016, so it's a pretty decent amount of time. And this principle actually is, is very much true in, in, in sales. So, f anyways, here's basically the way that it goes, and I can put it in the in, in the chat for you guys. So the first one is 25% of people. If I type, that'd be nice. Won't like you. Period. It does not matter what you do. You can be their best friend. You can buy them shit. You can do anything. It does not matter what you do. Important to understand. 5%. So keep up. Be appreciated. <laughs> of people that don't like you can be persuaded. And I'm an absolutely horrendous speller, so I apologize for that in advance, okay? So 25% of the people that you're gonna come across that don't like you, you can actually convince to like you. Again, this is kind of the, the and this brings up kind of the first thing in this particular regard, and that is the this is where the fine line starts to shape and that fine line is when you're with a person who doesn't like you are they 25% that don't like you and you can't persuade no matter what you do or are they part of that 25% that doesn't like you that you can persuade to like you so that's that's where that this is where one of the fine lines is here's another one of the lines 25% of people will like you no matter what. I'm confused. I don't know what that means. I'm not familiar with is 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 rip canny I'm, I'm i'm not sure what you're trying to tell me bud um so these are the 25 percent of people that like you no matter what these are the type of people these these are your these are your true and true friends okay that's who these people are these are the people that will be with you through thick and thin these are the people that you've stabbed in the back whether you did intentionally or intentionally and they're still with you they're still your friend Okay, that's who these people are. Now, here's the last 25%. And again, this is where another line is. 25% of people that like you can be persuaded to not like you. Okay. Like I said, this was the, this was something that I heard in a sermon years ago, and it's oh, thank you. Although I'm showing, I'm using game. You asked me this question already, so um, this is game show that I'm using on my side. Everything looks fine. I'm not seeing any blackout. Uh, well, that's not true. Um, in the live view, I see that the camera's gone out, so I see that. Um, but I am also recording this, so I might actually upload the recording of, of this so that you guys actually can, can uh, actually have the recording as well. So 25% of people that like you can be persuaded to not like you. And I got to be honest, this is life. Point blank, this is life. Okay. Um, 
I wonder if I need to reload the page. Because I am I'm not sure. I wonder if YouTube is screwing up. Because YouTube has has issues. So... But like I said, my computer's been acting a little funky. So... I think YouTube is is being funky on us. Yeah, I think YouTube is being funky on us, guys. Um, so I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm not really sure what's going on. Unless software is actually giving me a false report as far as what it's actually doing, which is possible. So, all right, guys. Well, I've been streaming this for 37 minutes now, almost, almost 40 minutes. So, um, here's what I'm going to do. I know the camera's black, so I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. I'm probably going to record just a little bit more because I've got a little bit more to say and a little bit more to vent um, and whatnot. But although I might might just give it a chance and see if it might actually like reload, hopefully, maybe. Uh, and I can try. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's what it is. Game show fucked up. All right. 